Have you ever wondered how C programming came to be? Let's rewind the clock back to the 1970s, a time of bell bottoms, disco music, and the birth of a revolutionary computer language. Nestled within the innovative labs of Bell Laboratories, a man named Dennis Ritchie was about to change the world of computing forever. Ritchie designed C programming as a low-level language, with its primary purpose to be used for system programming. But what does that mean? Well, think of it as the language that talks directly to the hardware of a computer, controlling and manipulating its core functions. And C's first big gig? None other than the Unix operating system, a groundbreaking project that would set the standard for operating systems to come, and that's how the journey of C programming began at Bell Labs, setting the foundation for many languages to come. So after its inception, how did C programming evolve? Well, buckle up, because we're about to take a quick ride through the history of this influential language. In the 1980s, a decade after C was born, the American National Standards Institute, or ANSI, recognized the need for a standard version of the language. This led to the development of ANSIC, the first widely adopted standard. It brought with it a host of improvements, including function prototypes, which allowed for better type checking, and a standardized library, which made the language more portable across different systems. Then, in the 1990s, the International Organization for Standardization, or IASO, took the reins. They introduced ISOC, which was essentially a superset of ANSIC. The ISO standard added several new features, like inline functions and new data types, which made C even more versatile and efficient. But the evolution of C didn't stop there. Its influence extended far beyond its own development. In fact, C played a crucial role in the creation of several other programming languages. Let's take C++ as an example. C++ was developed as an extension of C, with the addition of classes and objects, bringing the concept of object-oriented programming to the C family. Then we have C Hash, developed by Microsoft as part of its .NET initiative, which incorporates elements of C and C++. And let's not forget Objective-C, another language that sprang from the fertile ground of C, which was used as the primary language for Apple's iOS and MacOS operating systems for many years. Each of these languages, while unique in their own right, owe a debt of gratitude to C. They've taken its foundational structures and built upon them, creating new languages that continue to shape the world of programming. Each evolution brought new capabilities to C programming, further establishing its importance in the world of computer science. Now you might ask, why should we care about C programming today? Well, even though C programming was developed nearly half a century ago, its relevance in today's digital world is far from fading. It's like a classic novel. Its essence continues to resonate no matter how much time passes. C programming is the backbone of many modern systems. It's the workhorse behind system programming, powering our operating systems, file systems, and more. Without C, our digital infrastructure would look vastly different and not in a good way. It's the unsung hero, working behind the scenes to ensure our systems run smoothly and efficiently, but its influence doesn't stop there. C programming plays a crucial role in the development of embedded systems. These are the systems that control specific functions of devices and systems. From the software in your car's engine to the firmware in your smart appliances, C is instrumental in making these systems work. And let's not forget about game development. Many high-performance games owe their existence to C programming. It provides the efficiency and control developers need to create complex graphical applications and to optimize their performance. Moreover, understanding C can provide a deeper understanding of how computers work. It exposes you to concepts like memory management, pointers, and low-level access to computer resources that most high-level languages shield you from. This can be a game-changer, as it allows you to understand the intricacies of programming at a fundamental level. Educationally, C programming is often considered a foundational language for learning programming concepts. It's like the ABCs of programming, teaching you the basic building blocks and principles that apply across multiple languages. Learning C can set a strong foundation making it easier to pick up other languages down the line. So despite its age, C programming remains a vital tool in our digital world, offering a solid foundation for anyone interested in delving into the world of computer science. If you've been enjoying this journey through the history and relevance of C programming, 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel. By subscribing, you're not only supporting us, but you're also ensuring you don't miss out on more enlightening content just like this. And if you found this video informative and interesting, do us a favor and hit that like button. It may seem like a simple gesture, but it goes a long way in helping us reach more people who are passionate about learning. So go ahead, click that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and become part of our growing community of lifelong learners. Your support helps us create more content like this and continue to bring the fascinating world of programming to your screens. Thanks for watching and stay curious.